Hello and welcome to Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. It is day six of summer and another beautiful sunny day. We have once again woken up quite late, though not as late as yesterday. So the cats are already out here and uh, Lisette is probably already. Good morning, Magnolia. Snowdrop. Yeah, Lisette is probably already at wherever she goes for the day. Yeah, I don't see her. Well, we'll begin the day by visiting the Earth Sprites. I think I'm once again going to skip tending to the seasonal gardens. Because, well, we did wake up a couple of hours later than I like to wake up. So, um, until we get our daily routine back on track, I'm just going to skip on the seasonal gardens. Let's sell the fish and sea creatures and any other things we don't really need. And we'll put the grass and logs and ore away. And then we'll go tend to our animals. There we go. Let's go and uh, look after those animals. Well, of course we need to clear the yard here first. Looks like we have... Um, Quite a few things this time. Once we move the barns and coop into the third farm area, oh, there's going to be even more land to, to keep clear. Oh, goodness. Hello, Ash. Acacia, Daisy, Blossom, Aloe, Ophelia, and Dandelion. Thank you all so much for the fur and wool. Come on out. Hello, Sonette. Lily. Oh, you're all grown up. Clementine. Hibiscus. Columbine. Ginger. Mimosa. Oops, I forgot about saffron. Saffron, there you are. Hello to you too. And thank you all so much for the milk. Come on out. And now we'll go.
go look after the chickens. Oh, a lot to clear here too. Let's actually use the correct tool. One more sapling. And then all of those grasses. Hello, Nettle. Poppy. Limerick. Apricot. Chamomile. Ruby. Thank you all so much for the eggs. Come on out. Now, let's go process all of that. I think we want more 10 star cheese. And also 10 star yogurt. There we go. And mayo. We have some marigolds and the seeds are not quite done yet and neither are the spores while we wait for them to get done. Let's clear some trees and tree stumps out of here. Just to keep the visibility good. I find it really irritating that trees can grow in places where I can't put anything. So the game is like, nope, there's not enough room here to put any tiles or things down. And yet, trees can still grow there. Super annoying. Let's put the uh, rest of the marigolds away. And the spores are done. We'll plant them right here. And these mushrooms are grown now, so let's harvest. have to take a look in our fridge about the mushroom situation whether we want to start selling the mushrooms or whether we still want to put them all into the fridge Selling the extra mushrooms would be one, one source of um, income for us. So we could get to like over half a million faster. So we could buy another batch of, um, of 10 orichalcum from Angela.
Yeah, we can definitely start selling the mushrooms. Let's keep, um, like stacks of 50. That ought to be plenty for anything we need to do with them, right? Oh. There we go, and, um... We need one more she, uh, not shiitake, one more matsutake mushroom to get that stack to 50. Yeah. We could also sell some fruit and veggies, but maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Oh yeah, we need to go to the museum as well. And we may as well sell the small coop and barns. We're not going to use them anywhere. So let's get all of the unidentified objects into our inventory and get going to the museum. We'll take Moonbeam. She'll make the trip a lot faster. here. Gold ingot. Desert rose. Flexible cloth. Bronze town metal. Solid lumber. Jewelry locket. Silver ingot. And a second gold ingot. Let's go back home. We'll sell at least the town metal and desert rose. The rest of the stuff, I think, was such that we'll want to store it. Thank you for the right moonbeam. Yeah, we'll sell these small barns and small coop and the town metal and desert rose. I think we have the jewelry lockets in one of these chests here. Not that we really need them anymore because we already have max hearts with um, everybody but Sydney. And for Sydney, we are giving uh, grape jam or grape juice whenever we happen to see her on festival days and Mondays. Uh, 
Sydney is at like nine and a quarter hearts with us. So it won't be long till she too is at max hearts. We'll just keep giving her those um, grape jams or grape juices every chance we get. The rest of today, I'm thinking of uh, spending, um, fencing, fencing off that barn and coop area. We're not going to finish the job today. It'll probably take us a while because I think we're going to need to gather more clay. We're going to need a lot of mortar to make a lot of the uh, mortar fences. And apparently we're also going to have something to get identified tomorrow as well. Tomorrow is a Saturday, so the museum will be open. Alright, let's start putting down some fences. I like the look of the mortar fence here. I'll have to think of something to place there. Possibly the um, egg and milk related makers to place there kind of in front of the trees. Also, hmm, looking at this area, I think we may want to place the gates like um, over here and then the other one kind of opposite. Oh, yeah, I just wanted to try and see if it turns into a double white gate, du double wide gate, <laughs> um, when you put two side by side, but no, no, it doesn't. Not in this game. In Stardew Valley, the gate does turn into a double wide gate if you place two of them side by side, but um, sadly, they have not made it so in this game. We have a couple of puddles here, so before we go to bed, I do want to scoop them up. That'll get us some more clay. I also kind of want to make sure that I've sold one clay because uh, before you can buy materials and resources from the shops, you have to sell at least one of them. So, um, I think I'm going to sell one clay. Let's put the uh, grape seedling right here. Or 
Hmm. I'm just thinking now, is it going to cover um the um the bell? Well, I think I'll probably remember where the bell is. So I don't think I actually need to see it all the time to be able to easily ring it. I was just uh, thinking, we'll see when it grows. If it becomes inconvenient, I'll just have to chop it down. And yeah, I'll sell one clay just to make sure that I've sold one. And uh, we'll see if we need a lot more clay. I may want to buy some. But um, let's wish our cats good night and get to bed. We actually got to bed before midnight tonight. Thank you so much for spending time with me here on the Mellow. It was lovely to have you. If you'd like to show some support, please leave this video a like and perhaps a comment too. I'd really appreciate that. And if you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe to conveniently keep up with my content and to show me that you want to keep watching my videos. Remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you next time.